Milo. One piece strength. Two piece versatility. Intralox 3.0 Milo dental implants are indicated for long term denture stabilization or the permanent rehabilitation of single or multiple incisors. They are specifically designed and engineered to fit into narrow spaces. Milos are available in four lengths and two thread profiles to address the clinical quality and quantity of bone. Strength is a primary concern in the selection of small diameter implants. The solid one-piece body design of the Milo is superior in strength and fatigue resistance. Even when compared to a standard 3.75 two-piece implant, this chart references a comparison test performed for the FDA clearly indicating Milo's strength and fatigue superiority. Endowed with the solid strength of a one-piece, Milo's have the prosthetic versatility of a two-piece. Patent pending cement over abutments quickly and easily enable Milo's to utilize multiple abutments with the ability to prepare them extra orally. An O-ring and metal housing also makes the implants a natural selection for overdentures. These next sequences demonstrate Milo's surgical and prosthetic protocol for fixed restorations. A tissue punch is used to penetrate the soft tissue at the osteotomy site. When thin, porous, or irregularly contoured bone is encountered, or when gingival manipulation or grafting is necessary, a full thickness mucoperiosteal flap should be reflected. The 1.5 millimeter diameter twist drill at 1000 to 2000 RPM create a precise initial site for the implant. An external flow of sterile irrigation should be maintained. A contra-angle driver attached to a slow speed handpiece slips over the O-ball, removes the implant from its sterile packaging and transfers it directly to the surgical site for seating at 15 RPM or less. A surgical ratchet with a ratchet driver can be used to accomplish the final seating stage. The ratchet driver is also available in a long shaft version for clearance in narrow spaces. Final implant seating is accomplished when the ratchet driver or the contra-angle driver is flush with the surrounding gingival tissue. At this point the implant is securely in place. The gingival collar is in its proper relationship with the soft tissue and the O-ball abutment is at its correct height. Once the placement of the implant has been accomplished, the prosthetic component of choice is now ready for use. In this instance, the final restoration will be made using the Milo straight cementable abutment. A Milo pickup impression coping is snapped over the O-ball implant assembly. A preformed custom tray is loaded while syringe material is expressed over the pickup coping and adjacent teeth. A monophase impression material is appropriate for this procedure. The tray is placed and supported for the appropriate amount of time. The final impression is removed and inspected. Examination reveals that the coping has been firmly picked up in the impression. Milo laboratory analogs are inserted into the impression copings. The working model is poured up. Appropriate Milo cement over abutments are chosen for the restoration. The selected abutment is prepared and the final restoration is fabricated. The abutment and restoration are returned from the lab. The abutment is placed in the mouth and, if clinically acceptable, is cemented with resin cement. Only a resin cement is acceptable. The final restoration is then placed and the fit, aesthetics and proper occlusion are confirmed both visually and radiographically. Upon confirmation of all parameters, the restoration is secured with cement. The following sequences demonstrate Milo's surgical and restorative overdenture protocols. Palpate the ridge to obtain a three-dimensional concept of the bone structure. Ridge calipers and the use of a dental probe can be employed to determine the location and depth of the surgical sites. A tissue punch may be used to create access to the site. A full thickness mucoperiosteal flap may be employed if indicated. A constant external flow of sterile irrigation should be applied during the drilling stages. Laser etched depth marks on the drill correspond to the length of the selected Milo implant. 
Use a 1.5 millimeter diameter twist drill at 1000 to 2000 RPM to create an initial implant site. Drilling is accomplished by using an up and down pumping action. Light, repeated, intermediate vertical introduction of the final 2.5 millimeter diameter drill at 500 to 1000 RPM widens the site. A contra-angle driver attached to a slow-speed handpiece slips over the O-ball to remove the implant from its sterile packaging and transfers it directly to the surgical site for seating. 15 RPM or less initiates insertion. A surgical ratchet with a ratchet driver can be used as an alternative. The final seating stage is accomplished using a surgical ratchet with a ratchet driver. Each turn is accompanied by a slight pause. Final implant seating is accomplished when either the ratchet driver or the contra-angle driver is flush with the surrounding gingival tissue. At this point the implant is securely in place. The gingival collar is in its proper relationship with the soft tissue and the O-ball abutment is at its correct height. For chair side pickup of the denture retentive component, transfer the position of the O-balls to the tissue bearing surface of the denture by marking the heads of the O-balls with a lead pencil or insert soft silicone or soft wax inside the denture. The location of each implant is transferred to the denture. Using a resin burr, relieve the opening around the abutment impressions or markings in the denture by approximately 5 millimeters. Try the denture in the patient's mouth and verify that the appliance is seated passively while in maximum intercuspation. The O-balls should not touch any part of the denture. Snap a retentive housing assembly over each O-ball. Try the denture in the patient's mouth again and check to ensure that the appliance is seated passively while in maximum intercuspation. Remove the retentive housings. To prevent any acrylic lock-on, punch holes in a rubber dam at each implant site and place the dam over each abutment leaving only the O-ball heads exposed. Snap a retentive housing assembly over each O-ball in preparation for the final seating. Clean, wash and dry the denture. Fill the abutment recesses with self-cure resin. Paint a small amount of this material over each retentive housing. As soon as the acrylic in the denture becomes resistant to flow, seat the denture, keeping light bilateral pressure on the occlusal surface. Have the patient close gently into maximum intercuspation. Allow the acrylic to fully polymerize. After the acrylic has set, remove the denture and rubber dam. Trim flash and fill any minor voids or discrepancies. Ensure that there are no sharp edges on the tissue bearing surface of the denture. Recheck the occlusion. Confirm proper occlusal contacts. Milo. When indications call for long-term denture stabilization or the permanent rehabilitation of single or multiple incisors, one-piece strength, two-piece function. Prior to placement of Milo implants, appropriate and adequate training in all phases of Milo implant procedures is strongly recommended. A comprehensive patient interview, medical dental history and a complete oral examination should be conducted. Diagnostic radiographs and mounted study models, if appropriate, should also be utilized.